Good evening, this is an ordinary Michael, and I just thought I'd post a quick Bizarro book haul. A few weeks ago, my friend Taylor, who I go to film school with, asked me to act in her directing class. Um, and this is, this is my payment. Yay. So, first I have King Space Void by Anthony Trevino. This is about a giant starship in the shape of a man powered by thousands of people, traveling the universe and eating any planet it comes across. Next, there's Pixie Gate Madoka by Michael Sean Lesseur. It's about this Reddit-obsessed nice guy weeb who gets his dream of transferring to a high school in Japan, but instead of getting sent to the regular high school in Japan, he accidentally gets sent to a high school for magical girls. Next we have Dungeons and Dry Queens by M.P. Johnson. After a weird wizard transports Slizella LaRue's to the realm of Halmak, Green Bay's number one diva must save her life and protect the lip-syncing potty mouth persona she works so hard to cultivate. When she fights, she wins. When she bleeds, she bleeds pink. The title and concept alone were enough to make me get this right away. Speaking of great concepts, next we have The Kobold Wizard's Dildo of Enlightenment Plus Two by Carlton Malik III. This is about D&D characters having an existential crisis. It even features punk rock elf chicks. Normally I like gangster rap elf girls, but punk rock elf girls are just as cool. Finally we have the Bizarro Starter Kit Red. The starter kits feature short novels and story collections by 10 different Bizarro offers. I'm currently reading The Obese by Nick Ontoska. There's also a story in here called I Am Genghis Come by Violet Lavoit as well as The Kaiju Kid by Sean McKenzie. When it comes to Bizarro kits, I tend to skip around instead of just reading straight through. Of course, I always end up finishing the whole thing. Another story that I'm really interested in is Love in the Time of Dinosaurs by Kirsten Aline. I was obsessed with dinosaurs when I was little, and I still think they're neat. So I'll read this one after I'm done with the obese. Thanks so much for watching. My next video should be an update about me going to Anime Expo. Hopefully I'll get my new mic by then, or at least my backup batteries for my camera.